want to fold it over, don't I? And that's going to fold that way. And then I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out a way of doing this seam. So the second, the second choice is the pleated skirt. And as you know, or may not know, some of you all know that I love pleats. I love pleats, I love pleated skirts. Oh. Um, but anyhow, this will make amazing sleeves on this blue top. It's quite long. Um, I did say in my last video when I got this haul that I was looking for a jumper or a cardigan. Preferably navy blue, but I'd opt for white if I couldn't get navy blue. So I went back to the charity shop and I couldn't find anything at all apart from this. And it's in, it's in excellent condition. Um, it's long, it's got slits at the sides. And I said, yeah, I think this will do. Because I had in my mind that I needed the sleeves. Now this doesn't have sleeves, so there's going to be nothing that I can cut from this, or I want to cut from this, to add to the skirt, as the skirt becomes sleeves, because I'm thinking about cuffs, and I would have been able to get that from sleeves. So, um, so it's a little bit more of a challenge, but I think it will be quite a simple project, says me. So let's see. I want drama, that's what I want with these sleeves. So there's nothing I can cut from this. It's as is, I've got nothing from this in order to add to the sleeves. Okay, so I'll put that to one side for a moment. And then it's just the sleeves. So I've got an elasticated waistband and please, the hem isn't finished. It's just overlocked. Um, that's the same money, I suppose. Uh, right. Add it, add it onto the shoulder somehow. I think this is going to be a creative thinking time. So I'll need to try that on. And then before I decide to cut into this. So I was thinking maybe I could cut the waistband off and then have the waistband as a cuff to the bottom. Then I'm thinking that I think I'm better off doing something a bit different, challenging myself. That seems a bit safe because I think I would know how to do that. It's just a bit time consuming because I've got to make sure all the pleats are all lined up in order for me to get into the cuff. But I, I don't think I want it to be droopy. I want drama, yeah, I want drama. My arms are telling me. And if, and if I do not put the cuffs on, then I'll have more drama, won't I, with this top? Yeah, that's what I'm going to go for. No cuffs. I just want drama, that's what, I want drama with these sleeves. Even though with cuffs there could be drama, but I think without the cuffs there's going to be more drama. I hope I'm making myself quite clear about what I'm trying to achieve. But um, yeah, so I think I will use this section to be part of the sleeve. The elastic. I can see that happening. So it means just cutting this into two. Now that's a quick project. I mean, yeah, I'm up for it. I'm up for quick projects. So I've decided. <laughs> I've decided. So, right, okay. It has one seam. Yeah, it, it, it will tend to, most pleated skirts only have one, one seam. Okay. So I'm going to cut this in half. So let's get started thought what I'll do is I'll show you a visual. So rather than just explaining with words, 
think this is just half the skirt. <gasps> yes. It's not gonna go completely round, but that's the drama. I think it will suit this top really well. So I can have this just Oh, well not just above, it's probably halfway on the shoulder. I'm just show the back as well. That's a drama that I have, yeah. That's a drama that I'm looking for. See, if I didn't go for that option, and I took the waistband off and created a cuff, I wouldn't get as much of a drama. But that is possible. Yeah. No. Yes. I want drama. This is drama. So this is what I'm going to go for. Yes. So let's get started. Okay. Let's turn this skirt onto the wrong side because we need it in two halves. So let's find where the seam is. So we've got one seam there. And most pleated skirts only have one seam, so I have to cut on the opposite side. I'll bring the camera down so that you can see. So there we have the seam, and then I'm going to cut on this side. You can tell it's not a very well made skirt so that's so it's in two halves well it's in wrong side that's one edge and this is the second edge so I need to cut within that pleat so I'm going to cut this one here I'm going to start at the hemline and just go straight up just following the crease that's in the in the fabric in the skirt the pleat Right, so it's in two halves. I can see how it looks. So I'm going to see that's a part of a pleat, doesn't it? See this is this is a tricky part now as I'm going to cut through the waistband. So I'm going to cut here, here. Yeah. So this is a tricky part. I think this will work. So I'm going to cut here. I want to fold it over, don't I? And that's going to fold that way. And then I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out a way of doing this seam and just figuring out the pleating situation. Let's see if it works. Okay. I think I've got that and then I'll just put a straight just check that yeah just cut straight up yes so that means I'll have enough to make a French seam and then I can this will be sewn onto the shoulder yeah I think that'll work 
Okay, and then I'll repeat it on the other side. I'll just I'll just cut away this. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. My channel's all about inspiring, motivating and sharing ideas to upcycle fashion. So if you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, I'm also on the Patreon platform where I have a few different levels. It's a membership. Do check that out. I'll leave a link below. Let's get back to the video. To stop the elastic from escaping or losing the elastic then it's always best to secure it so I'm just going to go to my sewing machine and do a straight stitch just along there on all four so you can I'm starting to lose that one already so you want to make sure that you pull the elastic because I want the elastication to be a feature put a pin in and just do a straight line down. So, got my pins and this is gonna go over the shoulder, out here. I'll be looking in the mirror so do excuse me while I get this right. Yeah, about there. Oh, that is dropping, isn't it? I think I have it at an angle slightly. Yeah, I think that's okay. And that. Yeah, I think that's okay. So I'm going to pin it here, put a pin it in here. If you don't like to pin yourself, you can always use a marker to position it. But that's good, cool. that's nice over the shoulder as well. So now the problem is going to be here. Because of the armhole, it's quite high up. I want it to be relaxed. I don't want this under the armhole. So it'll probably come somewhere about here. So this means this will be turned over twice and it will stop there. And I've still got to move on either side. Okay. So yeah, I think that's what I'll do. So about there. So I'll put a pin in there. And then the rest of the seam will be a French seam. Yeah, that's going to be looking cute. I like that. I think it's going to look good. Let me just get the other one. Let me put that over. Oh, drama. It's drama. That's going to be cute. Yeah, I like that drama that it will have and just wearing it with some skinny jeans or some leggings so the next thing we need to do is the French seam so make sure so this is the wrong side and when you're doing a French seam you need to be working on the right side I do have a video tutorial on that so I'll link that below so you can go along and watch that if you don't know how to do a French seam. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go one thumb, one thumb width away from the pin. You now just in case it's, as we are doing this unusual 
sleeve insert insertion and then just pin all that and just pin them all into place like so and then take it to the same machine and then what I'll do is I'll come back and show you how I'm going to finish off these raw edges here are the sleeves they are now complete and ready to be sewn onto the top so let me just show you the front seam and a double fold stitch. This is like, um, I've got a video tutorial on how to do a double fold hem, I believe. And it's the same technique, exactly the same that you would apply to this opening here. Oops, I'll take this off. And then obviously we've got these raw ugly edges which will be hidden with the secret of hand sewing and the same on the other so now it's a case of getting my top put these to one side for a moment get my top and i put a little marker here a tailor's tack I just did it on myself while I had it on. Okay, so now I need to do the same on the other side. Let's see. This is a, this is a gorgeous little tool, this. This sewing gauge tool. I love. If you don't have one, I'll put one, a link below where you can get yours. It's that way, isn't it? Okay. So it's there. Right. So we're going to get this and place it on top. Now, this raw edge here. We're going to turn that back and then place it into position. Right there. And pin. Okay. I'm going to put it do that, turn that raw edge under again, just like I did on the right side, and pin that into place. I'll pin these into position at the shoulder. looks amazing and yeah, it's gorgeous so I'm going to baste it all into position and then I'll do the hand sewing technique that I'm going to be using I'll bring the camera up actually and explain okay so hand sewing the technique that I'm going to be using is going to be a back stitch and the back stitch is going to allow me to go work on the wrong side of the knit which I'll, I'll show I'll show you so that I can keep all of this under control and it's it doesn't flatten it as well is this possible to be sewn by a sewing machine because I know I know a lot of people do not like hand sewing and the answer is yes it is it is possible it'll be a tight squeeze getting this onto the arm of um it depends on how big your arm up your um neckline is as well but it is but try the hand sewing it's it's if you want a professional look to your garments hand sewing is a way to go 
yeah that's going to look amazing okay so I'll base this in position I do the same on the other side and base that into position and then I'll come back and show you um, the hand sewing technique basting um, the back stitching yeah back stitching technique that I'm going to be using and then this will be done it's going to look good it really is I, I just think it's, it's drama it's going to have drama That is gorgeous. I love that. Oh, the drama in these sleeves. Yeah, I want to particularly say this is my aesthetic but I love it I do I, I know I say this with everything I make I know I know but you know clothing is not about how it looks aesthetically it's also how it feels even if it's not something that is your true aesthetic you know and you're refashioning clothing and this is what we need to do it's it feels great. You want to have fun. This is what fashion's about also, is having fun. And this feels like fun. Oh, doing this with a pair of jeans. Wearing this with a pair of jeans is going to look amazing. I can fly away. Yeah, I'll stop. <laughs> so yeah, I based it into position i'm happy with that it's fine all i need now to do is just hand sew it and then yeah it, it will be done then i'm not going to this section here the underarm i am not going to sew that onto this this is fine it, it covers it i get air under my armpits that's fine it doesn't need to, it doesn't need to happen just let it do what it needs to do and it looks amazing. Can you imagine this with a belt? Oh, give myself a, an hourglass shape. <laughs> yes, it's gorgeous. I like it. So, yeah, so I'm going to show the back stitching I'm going to do on this. And yeah, it will be done. And then you get an opportunity to see this in my outfits of the week that I do on a Friday, which um, I'm not sure whether it's going to be next week or the week after. Because I need the right bottoms to wear with it yeah maybe skinny jeans I, I don't know I, I, I just need to yeah for me it has to have a bit more to it this may be all right for you um but I feel as though there needs to be something else with it but no it's it's gorgeous it is so gorgeous just love these sleeves yeah it's nice I've noticed that one sleeve is larger than the other quite significantly can you see and i think that is because i found like i said it's this is not the best let me see if i can find it there is a pleat there's about four pleats sitting on top of each other <laughs> so even though i folded it in half from the waistband the, the, the pleating itself, there was a lot more in the pleating that allowed this sleeve to be bigger than that sleeve and quite significantly. Like, this, like I said, there's about three pleats sitting on top of one. So it's quite a bit. Um, but no, it's, it's still fine. It's still nice. A, asymmetrical. You know, it's my thing. Yes, yeah, it's, it's still fine. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I may, this raw edge here, I may turn that twice, I may do, do a double edge to that. I do like, I don't dislike it, but yeah, I think I will, I think I will end up turning that. Let me see, I'll, let me, I'll wear it like this first, that's what I do sometimes, um, and see how I feel, and then 
Yeah. And may. I've also noticed that one side is of the of here is longer as well. Of the sleeve. Can you see? Compared to the other side. But that's fine. I can say it's an asymmetrical top slightly. Anyway, let me get back to doing my hand sewing and once I've done that I'll come back and then I will be done. My hand sewing is now complete and it looks gorgeous. Let me just give you a little twirl. This is the reason why it's so important for us to upcycle fashion because these are the creations that you can create these wonderful garments, these sleeves. I can do this for hours, I'm sure. I'll probably fly away as well. <laughs> no, I do love it. Yeah, I know I say that about every single, yeah, every single refashion that I do. I always say that, don't I? Every garment. Um, but no, it, like I said before, it's not really my aesthetic. But I think if I put the right accessories, it will be. And I think it's a garment that I would wear with jeans. Yeah, I think I can see myself wearing it with jeans. Um, but no, I'm just happy with the way it's turned out. And I also managed to get a little bit of that asymmetricalism. Is that a word? I don't think so. In there with the sleeves. And like I said before, it's just, I think it's this, yeah, this one has it's got um, a pleat that's got doubled over. I think it's because the waistband was too small for the amount of pleats. So in, a, in order to get the waistband on there, then that's the way um, I'm assuming they did it. But yeah, and also the raw edge there. I still may do a double hem on that. I shall see. Um, but no, I'm happy with the results. So if you are inspired to make something similar to what I've done, please let me know, tag me. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, save it, so you can watch it with all the other refashioned uh, videos that I have done. And uh, yeah, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. It's gorgeous. <laughs>